set for the start of the 2021 Lanka Premier League. It all kicks off with the Jaffna Kings against the Gaul Gladiators, a repeat of last year's final. So the news from the middle is that the Jaffna Kings, they've won the toss and they're going to bowl first. Here are how the two teams line up. The Gladiators, who will bat first, are packed with batting. Gunnar Talaka and Kusal Mendes playing their first games in six months after a ban. They'll be desperate to impress. Mohamed Afiz, Ben Dunk, Barnaka Rajapaksa, the captain, and Samit Patel make up the top six. The Jaffna Kings, they've also got plenty of power at the top of their order with the likes of Ramanullah Gerbaz, Avishka Fernando, and Tom Kola Kadmore. They've also got plenty of skin in the bowling with the likes of Wanindu Hasaranga, the number one ranked bowler in T20 internationals right now. Mahesh Tikshana, the mystery spinner, and also Wahab Riaz. They will have ball in hand shortly. Leading run scorer from the last tournament, Dunsh Kunitilka, but very, very consistent in every game that he played, except the final. That cost the ball gladiators. Yeah. Just going back to the organization around this tournament, as we see Kusal Mendes, who will be partnering him at the top of the order. Only a, a few people in the ground. We know that uh, we cannot have 100% capacity, but it is fantastic that the authorities have managed to allow a few spectators into this wonderful stadium here in Colombo to enjoy the spectacle. Umpire Kumar Garnasena, who will be the umpire on strike, is going to get things underway, and it is Lakmal with the new ball, and here we go. Runs for Mendes to get things underway. A boundary to start. Whipped and punished. This is a wonderful start. You can't keep bowling like this. Lakmal has to change it. High into the air. Here's an opportunity. Backpedaling the captain. He's got it. That's a wonderful catch. This over's had everything. How many boundaries do you want to hit in one over? How many? Do you want to kill the baller? Didn't happen this time around. What a brilliant catch from the captain. Leading from the front. Wasn't easy running back, but how well he jacked that one. Eight runs for Gunathilake, and he departs. Eight for one, Gladiators. Oh, that's going to go away, isn't it? It's going to go. Couple of bounces and away for four. More runs. Fine leg is not very fine. He's at more deep square leg. The boundaries are flowing. Through Tikshana. And who's got the ability? Oh, that was a poor delivery. And a player like Mohamed Afiz is not going to miss out. Oh, that's gone fine. That's gone fine. And given up the chase already. It's a boundary to end the over. Another large one, four gone, 37 for one. This is in the air. The keeper wants it, he calls for it. And takes it. That's a good catch. Ramanullah Gurbaz. And Seals has the second. Impelled the batsman into taking few chances. And when you're looking to hit the ball, pull the ball. You have to meet the ball at arm length. Wasn't the case. Kusal Mendes looked good in his brief, uh, brief stay, 16, he's made 40 for two. That's Fuller, appeal, and it's given. Was that sneaking down the leg side? Will Hafiz with you, he has the opportunity. Conversation with Ben Dunk, who's just come to the crease. He's got a big got job here, and they are going upstairs. Well, Tracky coming up, original edition is out. Pitching in line, impact umpire's call, and wickets missing. Uchi, the stats, I recommend that you change it's... your decision. It looked much closer than that. You know, Uchi Rafalik, you can't believe it. You're on screen, now you can make a decision. Uh, his facial expression tells a story. Thanks, Iman. Down he comes again, lofted, hasn't got enough on this. He is gone now, Mohamed Afiz, trying to go for a maximum. And Tikshana has his man, 41 for three. Mohamed Afiz, 
had a reprieve he reviewed but straight away down to long on and a fairly simple catch eventually Abhishek Fernando taking it quite easily Tikshan of the man he is delighted that's the third wicket gone Hafiz out for 15 of 18 balls 41 for three down the track goes dunk miscue but he's just cleared the man at mid off that might even get to the boundary it does Oh, that's a hard pull by Raja Paksa. Long boundary, but he has cleared it comfortably. What a shot. Raja Paksa will enjoy it. That was easy. Over square leg for six. Shot hammered. Bisecting that gap at deep square leg and mid wicket. It's a good start by Banu Raja Paksa. Clever. Very clever. One bounce for four. Nice, that's nicely picked away. Back to back boundaries. That's what you want from your captain. Yes, that's four more. That brings up the 50 partnership. This is very, very good from Raja Paksa. Long on wait, long on wait, takes it. One into Hasaranga. Gets the breakthrough for the Jaffna Kings. And Vanidu Hasaranga rises to the occasion. Hands like buckets. Tisera Pereira. Ben Dunk. 17 of 17. The Gladiators are 93 for 4. Mohammed, that's high, that's high. Odia gets just enough. Takes on the deep mid wicket field. Avishka Fernando, we thought he'd had it. But he goes over and brings up the 100 for the goal gladiators. Over the top. Great cricket, one bounce, two bounces into the boundary. Banuka Rajapaksa just opening some spaces up for himself. Makes room, finds the gap. Well played, Samit Patel, needed that boundary and struggling to get going. He comes down, meets it on the full. He's going to pick up at least one, that's all he required to get to 50 off just 29 balls the first half century of the 2021 LPL goes to the Gold Gladiators skipper Arnika Rajapaksa well played tosses that one up invitingly for Arnika Rajapaksa it's another maximum that's a real strength of his although it was a googly but well read and sent on its way for a huge six. That's excellent batting. Massive, wasn't it? Oh, that's gone straight up in the air, though. Is this the end of the captain? Gerba studies himself and pouches an easy catch. Once again, he wasn't afraid to ball that googly. Although Raja Paksa back it, backed away from the stumps. To be able to hit the ball through mid wicket, not successful this time around. But Hasaranga prevailed, got rid of in form Raja Paksa. Bull again from Seals. This time he beats the man on the inside. A much needed boundary for Samit and for the Gore Gladiators. Full, that might be the boundary though. It is classy shot from Samit Patel. He kept his shape there. Once again, room was provided. And the result, back-to-back -back boundaries for Gold Gladiators. That's pulled, but is it straight to the man? It is. That's a good catch, though. 
Hasaranga coming in off the deep mid wicket boundary. Went flat and hard, but he kept his eye on it. Made it look so easy. Timed it well by Samit Patel. Unfortunate. Only finding Vanidu Hasaranga at deep mid wicket. Samit Patel gone for 42. 163 for six. Deep in the crease, swung away, it's gone high, but it hasn't got the distance. It's that man Hasaranga again, safe as houses. That's a good finish by Jaffna. The omnipresence of Hasaranga. Third wicket for the youngster, really bowled well. Reacted to the situations very well, this youngster. He's got a bright future. Odana only lasted for a delivery. 164. Well, the big question is, is that a winning score? The Jaffna Kings won the toss, of course. They wanted to chase, and their target is going to be 165. We could be in for a thrilling 20 overs here to kick off this season's Lanka Premier League. Stay with us. The chase is next. Wind picking up slightly, a little bit of dew out there maybe. Tashara with the new ball, one slip in place, third man up. We've seen that action before, haven't we? Is it out? Yo, oh, put down on the third attempt, Mohamed Afiz. Let's look on the uh, look for the positives. He saved four. Timed, beautifully timed. That's four. Neatly guided. That will be four. Beautifully. That's controlled. Controlled and hit powerfully. Got him! He's a smart performer, this man. Looking to give himself some room. Played on the offside, chopped it onto the stumps. That's a big wicket. Didn't turn, it just cramped him up. Kept coming and coming towards him. Well, they get the wicket they wanted because Upul Taranga was looking dangerous. Gone for 17. Kings are 28 for 1. What a hit this is. Walk to the wicket, and I'll have a big one. That's a long boundary. And before Patel starts to dictate terms, let me put my foot down, says Tom. Kola Kadmo. So far, he has bowled really well, Muhammad Hafiz. Gobaz comes down, swings hard. That is high, but it is not handsome. That's a good catch. Inviting Gurbaz to go over long on. The ball is not there. Going with the stroke. Kusal Mendis at deep score leg. Judge it really, very really well. Great catch, Kusal Mendis. Jaffna Kings. Tottering this time with Pultaranga and Gurbaz. He's gone for 11 of 16, Kings 39 for 2. Oh, that's turn and bounce! What a wicket that is! Genuine nick-off! Incredible bounce from Samit Patel. Easiest of catches for the slip. It turned and bounced. Not the right technique to play, even in T20 cricket. Not getting to the pitch of the ball, hung the bat out, and that was more than enough for the left armour to prevail. Big shot from Kola Cadmore, but he's not got that at all. Simple catch. 
Maybe a bit tougher than that, actually, just over his shoulder. Didn't you see the ball turning? And there, you try and hit the ball against the turn. What were you expecting? A very good catch from Nurullah. And second wicket for the left armer. He walks back, TKC for 10 runs. It's 52 for four. Runs. This is a Pereira just nudging it down to third man. The outfield is brilliant. Oh, that's taken. That is taken. That's a big wicket. Laru Madhushanka has got the prize scalp of Tisara Pereira. There you go. That really climbed on Tisara Pereira. Really surprised him. And that's a good catch because he's got two hands to that. Some keepers would have tried to go with one. Got two solid hands there. So, as you say, that is a big wicket. The Kings in trouble. 70 for five. Got him. Noor Ahmed getting his act together. Jaffna King sinking further. Yep, not picking it. Not picking it at all. Trying to go towards extra cover. The way he sets himself up, that back leg going leg side-ish, indicates that he was expecting it to spin away and try and hit that spot. So not picking the ball. But the Gladiators pick another wicket. Hasaranga for not. 71 or 6. The spinners continuing. Gone. That's easy. That's easy. That's more of a run out than stump. Samit Patel just enjoying himself. Stumped by a country mile. Well, he went very early, didn't he? I think Samit saw him coming, dragged that one down. A bit of bite, a bit of turn. He's happy with that one. He's bowled really well. Batted well, too, to finish off the innings. He's now got three for 14 at the start of his final over. Shamu Ashan goes for 15 off 19 balls. The Kings subsiding here, 75 for seven. Vavrias gets it big. Made the mistake of bowling it a little too close to Vavrias on that occasion. Ah! Oh, he's given. Ruchira Palyaguru thinks he's out. He's reviewed it straight away. Report Pecky coming up. Orange edition is out. Pitching in line. Impact in line. Nikats missing. Kuchi, I recommend you change your original edition to not out. I'll let you know when you're on screen. You're on screen now, we can make a signal. Thank you. Oh, he's got that. That. Don't bother running. That's miles. Full, fl full flurry of the bat there. And again, hasn't got it this time. And taken in the deep. Picking up his second wicket. Good catch by young No Rama at David Ducat. Never easy. Those flat catchers judged it well. Reverse cup. And Bunataranga triumphs. Jaffna Kings losing their eighth. Vabrias gone for 27. 108 for eight. Out. First ball. No, excuse me. They crossed. But he will be on a hat trick. Saw the intention of the batsman. Was looking for a big one by coming down the track. Drag the length back. And what a sight for any baller knocking the stump back. A bit of resistance from Lakmal. Score 10. It's 108 for 9. Survives the hat trick ball, but two and two, 18 gone, 108 for nine. And all over. A comprehensive victory for the Gore Gladiators. 55 runs. This one hitting high up on the bat, giving Tishari his first wicket. 
captain uh, finishing off proceedings by taking this simple catch. A professional performance by the Gore Gladiators in match one. So the Gore Gladiators in there, 20 overs, 164 for seven. The captain, 56 of 31. Patel was brilliant, 42 of 31. Dunk with 17, Mendes with 16. Jaden Seals, the West Indian fast bowler, three for 23 in his four. In reply, 110 all out. While Riav's top scoring with 27 and spin did the damage. Patel, three for 21. Hafiz, two for 11. The Gore Gladiators win by 54 runs. Hurry up and